last week, we started a brand new series called From Jews to Gentiles. In this series, we are answering an important question. The question is, what is the gospel? And the gospel is not just for some people, but it's for everyone, for all people. Have you ever traveled to a far place to share good news about Jesus Christ? Well, today we're going to learn about a man, his name is Barnabas, how he traveled to a city called Antioch to tell people about Jesus. So let's find out more. There are 66 books in the Bible, and we're studying one verse from each book. So that means we're going to study 66 verses together in order. Today, I'm going to introduce you to the 36th book. Before we get started, let's review and say 35 books in order. Three, two, one, go! Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1 Samuel, 2 Samuel, 1 Kings, 2 Kings, 1 Chronicles, 2 Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, and finally, the 36th book is called Zephaniah. What was that again? Zephaniah. That's right. And today's power verse comes from chapter 3, verse 17. Let's read it together in one voice. Go. The Lord your God is with you. The mighty one will save you. The Lord will be happy with you. You will rest in his love. He will sing and be joyful about you. Amen. Here's my power verse, and I added the 36th book, Zephaniah, and today's power verse. 
this verse reminds us that God is so happy. He's so glad to bring salvation to those who trust his name. And he pours out his eternal life to those who believe and come to him and says, yes, Lord, I believe you and I trust your word. So why don't we all get up and we're going to praise our Lord Father. I want to be grateful and I want to be thankful. To think about the goodness of the Lord He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands And say that I love Him I just want to lift my heart in praise And I want to be thankful I want to be grateful I want to remember everything That the Lord has done I want to be thankful I want to be grateful I want to be, I want to be, I want to be I like to think about the goodness of the Lord He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands and say We have been learning how all the Bible stories, they all come together to create this big plan. It's God's big plan, how he wants to rescue sinners through his son, Jesus Christ. And last week, we learned how God showed Peter that gospel is not just for certain people, but gospel is for everyone. God loves us so much and he created each person according to his image and he wants everyone to hear the gospel, to be repent of sin, and be saved by faith. Today's story, it's called Barnabas in Antioch. Let's find out more. God had called Peter to tell everyone the good news about Jesus, no matter who they were or where they came from. So Peter shared the gospel not only with Jews, but with Gentiles. The Gentiles in Caesarea heard Peter's message and believed. God gave his Holy Spirit to these new believers, and they were baptized. Before long, the apostles and other believers throughout Judea heard the Gentiles had believed the good news about Jesus. They were surprised, so Peter shared about the vision God had given to him of the sheet of clean and unclean animals and his encounter with Cornelius. Peter explained that the gospel is for all people. Then the believers praised God and understood that Jesus had come for the Gentiles too. At the same time, believers who scattered after Stephen's murder had traveled to places like Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch of Syria. In those places, The believers only shared the gospel with the Jews. But some believers from Cyprus and Cyrene went to Antioch and preached the gospel to the Greeks too. God was with them, and a large number of the Greeks believed the good news. The church at Jerusalem heard about these new believers, so they sent Barnabas to Antioch. Barnabas 
was a good man. He loved God and was full of faith and the power of the Holy Spirit. When Barnabas arrived, he saw that God was gracious to these believers. He was glad and encouraged them to keep following God. Even more people trusted in Jesus. Then Barnabas left Antioch and went to Tarsus to look for Paul. Mm. He found Paul and brought him back to Antioch. They stayed with the church in Antioch for a year, teaching large groups of people. Jesus' followers were first called Christians at Antioch. Even though some people tried to stop it, the gospel spread throughout the earth, not only to Jews, but also to Gentiles. The good news about Jesus is for everyone. God calls us to celebrate when others believe and help them know and love Jesus more. After Jesus returned to heaven, his disciples, they continued to share the gospel. And many people came to trust in Jesus Christ. And in turn, they shared the gospel too. And this is how the early church started to grow. But the early believers, they faced a great deal of persecution, which forced them to leave their home and go to different places. So let's read that together in the Bible. Acts chapter 11, verse 19. Go. Many of the believers were scattered by the terrible things that happened after Stephen was killed. Some of them went to places as far away as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch. They were telling the message to others, but only to Jews. As believers scattered, they took two things with them. First, the gospel, and the second, the power of the Holy Spirit. And many believers, they would only tell the gospel to other Jewish people. But after hearing how Peter saying that gospel is not just for certain people, but how gospel is for everyone, and how the Gentiles got saved, then they really understood that gospel is for everyone. So this is how the churches started to really grow. And more Jews and more Gentiles, the more people became believers. And they started to build more churches in the areas that were away from Jerusalem. When the church leaders in Jerusalem heard how there were many believers coming to Jesus Christ and believing the gospel, they decided to send someone, send a leader to encourage them and to show them the examples of how to live just like Jesus. So the church leaders, they sent Barnabas. So Barnabas, he went to Antioch and he taught them how to live like Jesus. And he taught them what it is about believing the word of God. And he encouraged the believers and helped them to grow their churches. So through the Holy Spirit, Barnabas got to challenge people to hear the gospel and to believe the good news. So he got to see so many believers coming to Jesus Christ. Did you know that Barnabas, his name was not actually Barnabas, it was Joseph. He was called Barnabas because the name means son of encouragement. I mean, Barnabas earned this name Others, they gave Barnabas this name because he was so good at encouraging others. I mean, Barnabas was known as the encouraging guy. He was just so good at it. And the early believers, they really needed Barnabas' encouragement because they were going through a lot of persecution. They were being hurt. They were being mistreated by people who did not believe in the truth. So early believers, they really appreciated. They were so encouraged encouraged by Barnabas, sharing the gospel and making sure that they don't lose hope in Jesus Christ. And all they have to do is just have faith in Jesus Christ. Barnabas wanted to make sure that everyone hears the gospel. So what is the gospel? Gospel is the good news that God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to rescue sinners. So just like what Barnabas did, encouraging others, we also have to encourage others by sharing the gospel 
and letting them know that there is a Jesus Christ who is going to be with them always and every day. So let's all get up and we're going to sing our praises to our Lord Father. Let's all close our eyes and pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for providing a way for us to be saved by sending your son to take the punishment for our sins. Thank you that this salvation is available to everyone who trusts in Jesus. And help us know and love you more as we grow in our relationship with you. May we glorify you with our lives. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name we all pray. Amen.
the Bible stories, they all come together to create this big plan. It's God's big plan, how he wants to rescue sinners through his son, Jesus Christ. And last week, we learned how God showed Peter that gospel is not just for certain people, but gospel is for everyone. God loves us so much, and he created each person according to his image, and he wants everyone to hear the gospel, to be repent of sin, and be saved by faith. Today's story, it's called Barnabas in Antioch. Let's find out more. Okay, you guys, we had an amazing worship together, and it's amazing. How awesome is it to know that God wants all of us to encourage one another? So I want you to make this week filled with encouragement. Be just like Barnabas. Be that son of encouragement. Be the daughter of encouragement. You guys take care, be safe, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.